Hello, Dr. Jerome Fryer, chiropractor here. I'm excited to bring a new model to the clinical arena to help patients understand their sources of back pain as it relates to their cartilage and their facet joints in the discussion of osteoarthritis. So let me give you some sort of some perspective, something that we are actually quite familiar with and we're not even really paying attention or maybe people don't really know, but if you've ever um, pulled apart, uh, whether it's a, you know a turkey leg or a chicken bone, you can see up here that yesterday I was making um, chicken tacos and I called my daughter, I said, Cypress, come and videotape me and she was just like dad what are you doing like what are you up to again you're so weird so anyways you could see here that the cartilage exists on the end of the bone right so it's actually like at the end so you could see I I pulled it off and then underneath is where often the pain generation is coming from so this is called, called the subcondyl bone so this is very similar to the modeling that I'm doing now in the facet joint. So you can see here, right, this is a facet joint where the white here has been worn away a little bit and often what happens over a course of a lifetime, whether it was an injury that, that started things or even some aging, kind of a little bit of both sometimes, but this disc, if this disc, this is a bulge disc here, so if this disc loses height, do you see what happens with the facet joint? They sh It shingles together right here, right? So it actually shingles together and with that, what happens is the disc will lose height and then it starts to shear. It'll actually start to shear and if it's, you know, if it shears too much, it actually will start to shear off that white stuff and cause sensitivity to the facet joint. Often facets are sensitive when people, um, they report like prolonged standing because over time when you stand, the disc will actually lose a little bit of height and the facets start to shingle together. They will it'll be sensitive when people like roll over in bed for example or when they twist a certain direction um so you know there's there's variations of different you know pain generators in here but in particular i just wanted to bring the idea that you know a lot of people don't know what this cartilage is well it's that white stuff and it protects the bone, and when the disc height goes down, with the disc bulge in this case, the facets start to shear and cause sensitivity to the facet joint. So, hope that's helpful.